Hi everyone, it's Gail and it's Scrappy Saturday. So um, we are going to work with, oh my gosh, I've got scraps of um, embossed paper and I've got these little bases that I'd like to finish up. And um, as well, I've got some uh, digitals over here to work with. So we're going to just make ephemera pieces today, random make kind of, So except that it's all going to be fall themed. So let's say hi and hugs first. Hi and hugs to Rebecca, Joanne, Donita, and Lori. Thank you so much for watching and for your kind comments. Okay, um, don't even know where to start, but we're just gonna jump in. So I have this cool piece of paper. I'd really like to use that. I've also, see, I've got some, some digital pieces. Um, Lots of scraps here. Lot, never, never a shortage of scraps. I'm sure you can relate. So I'm going to move those over a bit and we'll just kind of draw from that scrap pile as we find something. I'm looking at this and I, I love it. I think it needs dark needs dark um, ink. Oh, I better look at the time, hadn't I? Okay, around one-ish. If we're done around one-ish, we're good. So I think I'll do this. Do a little ink and think. And then I really want to use some of that cool embossed paper. So maybe we'll just use some little chunks here and there. What do I have? Oh gosh, I've got paint on my <laughs> paint on my stamp pad, crazy enough. Okay. So, um hope you're all doing well. Hope you're having a good day. I am so far so good. Yeah. I um I am just going to tear this. I'm gonna, It's always funny how it kind of tears with the with the embossing. That might be a bit too wide, but I'm just gonna tear that across to here. Might tear a little more off of it, but I'm gonna put it here, is what I'm thinking. And really, I only need about half that. Okay. Okay. So far, so good. Oh, I'm gonna need a glue book, aren't I? Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? I forget now. <laughs> I, I had something profound on the uh, tip of my tongue here. But oh well. If I think of it, I think of it. It couldn't have been that earth shattering if I can't remember it for two seconds. Yeah, I'm just going to get that right up to the edge there. going to have to round off that corner a bit. Okay. Yeah, got that kind of gicky on my gicky. There's a new word for you. Uh, gicky. That is a variation of the word gookie. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Just gonna kind of okay, okay. So I like that. I want to have it in kind of three places. I'm thinking right there might be another spot. Um, ooh, maybe right here. I could put that right there. Okay. Um, yeah, so today is a filming day. Once again, you know, I just keep, let's see, this is going to air on Saturday. It'll be the Saturday of my retreat. It's always weird to kind of think of that because it's like, oh no, it's almost over and I haven't even gone yet. <laughs> but that's what happens when you film ahead. It's like your whole life gets a little bit almost out of kilter. Okay, so that's good. And 
there, I would kind of like, I kind of want like a little strip across or something. Um, let's just tear some and see if it will kind of turn out like I want. Don't want to cover up that leaf. I don't mind. That's pretty good. And then I can cut it off, I think. Okay. I felt like this needed a little more color. So, yeah, I haven't started. I mean, when I'm filming this, I haven't started packing yet. But I sure have started thinking about it. <laughs> Oh, I feel like I still have so much more to do to get ready, but, you know, it will come. So I um, had lunch with my friend Diane, whose retreat I'm going to uh, the other day because it was her birthday. I probably told you. And um, that. and uh, anyway, she said, you know what? If we can't fit everything in your van, my sister and I, because her sister's coming, so she's an extra person. I do think I told you about that. Anyways, um, she said, we'll just, uh, we'll just take my car too. And my sister and I will go in my car, and then I can go with her daughter. But I'm going to offer to her daughter too. I mean, I can certainly drive myself and follow them or whatever. That's just fine. Okay. I want some outlining on that. And I just got this Faber-Castell Gold Faber Aqua Dual Marker. It's called Burnt Sienna was the color I wanted. So it's got like a brush in there. And like a finer point here. I think I'm going to use the finer point, And I'm just going to kind of messily go around these leaves. Just needs a little outlining so it doesn't fade to the background so much. Is how I feel about it. Okay. Um, everything else is pretty abstract looking. There is sort of a leaf right here. Maybe if I outline it, it'll look more like a leaf. Um, Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's fine there. Oh. Okay. Are you not gonna stick? You gonna be you gonna be like that? And see whether or not I was getting any glue squeezed out. Okay. So there's that. I do kind of feel like, I mean, it's just fun and mixed media e. Should we put like a word down here? I kind of feel like it needs something there. Um, I'm not sure. Sure, what kind of word? I think these are just up and downs. I want a sideways, yeah. What do I have here? Oh, those, those are labels. Don't really want a label, I don't think. I have to always remind myself what's in this in this uh, tub. Nothing. Nothing's in there. Okay. Let's 
see what kind of a word. I feel like my, okay, let's try this. Oh, let's try one and see if there's anything in here. This is my pouch of, it's a lot of random a jewel design things that have just accumulated over time. Yeah, it's always a good time for a kind word. All right. Okay, so get that glued on, and then we're going to call this piece done. Did I do the back? Yeah, I did. Good. Okay, I think I'm going to use art glitter glue because it's going over the embossing. But yeah, one of these days I'm going to have to be done with fall ephemera and say, okay, that's what, that's what I've got to take. That's what I've got to use. I mean, it's not that I can't make things when I'm putting the journal together, but I'd rather kind of have it all ready to go, to be honest. So, okay. Well, that's, that's interesting, kind of. It was a little too white for me. Okay. I don't think it's the favorite journal card I've ever made, but it's it's fine. Okay, we'll call that one done. Um, I'd like to do one of these, at least one. These are, um, these were cleanup sheets, I think, when I was jelly printing. I believe that's what these are. Um, I would like some sort of a focal point on here. Might need a little, uh, book text just to kind of give it a little, whatever, a little thing to rest on. But what are we going to put on there? I don't know. Let's look through our scraps here. See if there's something. That's a nice piece of paper. <laughs> As opposed to a not nice piece of paper. I don't know what I'm talking about here. Okay. Oh, and then I have these um, labels that were jelly printed too. That might come in handy. Okay. Well... I do like this. I'm liking kind of this part a little more. And I think I want these straight edges gone. I mean, you know, we may have used, by the end of this video, two pieces of scrap. <laughs> it always feels like that, doesn't it? I think that needs to go over here just because the flowers on that side and then I do want some book page I think so oh my goodness let me grab my giant stack of book page I bet there's something there we can use it's another scrap yay okay um let's use this side and I'm gonna tear this down And where's this going? Yep, you got it. Stampin' Bin. This is the Stampin' Bin. Okay, we'll keep that handy. I'm sure we'll have another use for that. Rest of that book page. Okay, so I'm thinking like something like that. That's what I'm thinking. So let's ink those. Still no idea what I'm going to put as... Kind of the focal point, but we'll come up with something. Oh, miss a spot. <laughs> oh. Well, it's hot, hot, hot here, guys. It's we are gonna be a hundred degrees 
and we've never, never has Montana been 100 degrees in September, they were saying on the news. How crazy is that? Ugh. So, anyway, I'm a little worried that my retreat is going to, the house doesn't have air conditioner, uh, have air conditioning. I mean, there's a, a like a ceiling fan in the craft room. So it should be, it might be interesting. I should probably ask my friend D Diane. I could sure bring a big fan. I have a big fan. I don't know if she would want me to. I'm just kind of, it's actually the first day of the retreat supposed to be really hot 90 something and then it's supposed to cool down a bit okay well i like that so far <laughs> but i don't know what else i'm gonna do with it um hmm well let's look at any possibilities in here really aren't aren't much of anything possibility wise well that's a thought put one of these little tim holtz kind of things on there i actually kind of think that's fun okay well try that Okay, um, and then I wonder, we might have within some of the um, fall kits that I just printed out to kind of use, we might um, have some little pieces that could go in that, that's what I'm thinking. Just kind of put that on there. Nobody ever said you couldn't put a pocket on a journal card. Remember the other day I put a notepad on the on a journal card? Apparently I'm into putting unusual things on journal cards. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay. Well, let's just drop you on there. I'm going to squish it in a little bit because these otherwise tend to be so tight you can't get the ephemera in and out. Okay. Still think I need something right there. Of course I could maybe have a word. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, see this one. I just did this last night and it's got got some cute little kind of tags and they're just they're just on copy paper so not heavy at all but you could write a little note on the back of that couldn't you um, what else is in oh there's these uh, gotta find one that has good colors. This one. Uh, this kit is from, oh, I had it and I, I, I think it was from last year and I didn't have any markings on it as to whose it was. So I apologize, but I just wanted to use the bits and pieces out of it. So... Okay, what else is in here? There's this funky little tag. Love that. There's some little these. Oh, here's one with a Oh, <laughs> didn't work. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> so 
some days just doesn't pay to get up in the morning, does it? Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, stick you in there. And then I think I'm just going to grab I have some itty bitty tags with vintage stamped on them. I think I'll just stick one of those in there and call that good. And then we need to like that. Okay, now I need something right there. Um, I am thinking, where are you? No wishes. I'm thinking maybe a lens, altered arts. I feel like I need to Happy. <sighs> hmm. Or I wonder if I have a tall mushroom that will have that little mushroom sticker. Kind of, it blends in pretty, pretty much though. Thought I had some. You know, I probably should just toss these. I probably will never use those, but I'll put them at the bottom. We have here. Oh, Journey of Crafting. These are some. Like, uh, what do I want to say? Kind of clear. No, those aren't going to work. Background's too busy. I think a mushroom here would be good if I can find the right one. It's the, it's the thing. Either too wide or too short is what I have happen in here. Oh, hummingbird in amongst the uh, in amongst the mushrooms. Okay, well, maybe this was a bad idea, too. What I want is a tall one that's kind of this color. How about you guys? Those will work. You know, sometimes you just have to keep at it. Okay. If there's little hanging over. I think I want that grounded at the bottom there. Okay, let's go for it. I feel like I'm taking much longer making ephemera than I normally do. Sometimes it's a little different when you're using things that you don't normally use. I do like that there even though, oh yeah, that's going to fit. Okay. I think on the bottom, let me see if I have, oh, I want the field note one. I still haven't labeled these. I know you guys have said I need to do that, which I will at some point maybe get that done. She said with hope in her heart. A smaller one. I should have. Oh, there's one. Oh, grab it. That's what I want. Okay. In the end, I'm going to be happy with this little guy. Okay. 
Okay, there's a journal card with a pocket and some tags. This is a conglomeration of ephemera is what this is. <laughs> okay, well, that was fun. Um, 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 um. These would probably be nice in that one journal. The one that's got the, um, the papers from chapter one papers on Etsy. I think this would go with that, so. I'm looking at my ephemera going, hmm. So do you feel like we need to back that? I kind of think so. I love this side. I think that would go well. So I'm gonna see what I have over here. I think I've got, aha, uh -huh. that's perfect. Okay. Have a, my eyeball is going crazy with the, there we go, too much, that's too much. And let's just do this. Okay. <clears throat> well, we'll have the back done. <laughs> Still need to do the front. But we used a scrap of coffee dyed paper. Just making sure I'm staying on, on theme here. <laughs> so Mike and I have finished now the third season of Stranger Things. We're on to the new season starting tonight. I'm so excited. Okay, so. Um, what do we like on this? scraps over here. <laughs> There's my guy. Okay. No, 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 and no. Let's see. Maybe some book page. Let's just start there. Start there and go from there. Let's have some fun little paste on them. that but I'm going to take some off of there. I don't know how this is going to tear with the modeling paste on there but we'll see. Oh good. That's a fun piece to use for something. <clears throat> okay so let's do this.
I mean, when when the tall or long focal point is needed, my brain goes right to Tim Holtz people. Sort of the vibe of that journal is a bit Victorian, so that might work out. I don't know. I think I want... I want this at the top. And Oh, which reminds me, one of these might be nice on one of these. I mean, just because it's fall doesn't mean it can't have people in it, right? Actually like him there. I'm going to leave those out for a second to see on those. Okay. So my husband is trimming trees today. It makes me nervous. He was working way high up in a tree. And um, see, I need something under his feet, don't I? Um, way up under a tree, or way up a tree, and um, the clippers broke. <laughs> so he's like, all right, well... Um, he wasn't on a ladder because he knows Gail says no ladders. <laughs> okay, now he can stand on there. Um, anyway, but he said I had a situation. <laughs> And I was filming, so of course I was of no use, which is usually the case. Oh, so, but he got it. He got it down and everything's good there. Our neighbor across the street's getting new siding on her house. It's been fun to watch that process since we can't seem to get anyone to come here to do our house. <laughs> We're watching the neighbors. Oh... Is it something we, I, I mean, I'm starting to feel insecure about it. It's like, why can everybody else get their work done and not us? But it's like Mike said, they could have been on the list for two years. So, okay, I'm just going to call that done. I like how that shows. I mean, I could put a little word across there if I felt it needed it once I put it in the book or something, but okay. So there's that one done. Um, let's, let's, uh, take one of these and see if there's a people that we would like to put on there. I've enjoyed these portraits. They're fun. This little guy, he's got a cap on. He could be, it could be that, um, it's cool out for fall and he needed a cap. Okay, we can't just have him floating in the world. We need a little something more. So we'll see. Just putting the putting the people back in their little home. All right. Um you know what might be fun is if I have like that or something oh I kind of like it like that not that part but this part um okay I think I might fussy cut that out real quick it's supposed to be a journal card I think Okay, 
um, little scissors. Where are you? Whoops. There's the glue falling over. Okay, I'm just going to just quick like snip a few spots on this. Sorry, I got all quiet there. Just cutting out, and I don't know what I'm thinking about. Nothing. Imp Actually, you know what was going through my mind was Serena Williams on her tennis match. I don't know. Random, right? So the last interview I saw her do, she may not retire. So I don't know if she's really decided yet. The news wants her to decide, I think. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put that up there. Let's get rid of the grits. Okay, and I'm falling off my chair. Okay, you can go back up there. I've had questions about those scissors. They're the Tim Holtz. Tonic Studio scissors like these. I have three different sizes. Love them all for different um, different applications. Okay. Put that on there. It's so funny now that the girls have started volleyball. It sort of feels like during the week, like I'm just sort of marking time until I can go watch them again. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I do. It is a joy, though. Okay, so I'm going to put you there. But I feel like we need something there that's all sorts flat right there because that was the edge of the journal card. Okay. Um, what about like a like a Tim Holtz something? Like I was thinking like a ticket or something. Too big. Too big, too small. Oh, yeah. How about that right there? Yeah. Like that right there. Him here. And maybe I just leave this part because it's really pretty. Okay. I'm cool with that. Okay. I got sort of out of order in my filming. And so I actually already have tomorrow's video filmed. So... After I get done with my scrappy Saturday, I'm going right on to mixed media Monday. <laughs> oh, whoops. I meant to use the other kind of glue, but that's okay. We'll just see how this does. The only trouble is it gouges out my glue a little bit. So. Okay. I'm really liking that because... See that little leaf right there? It pulls out this little bit of blue that's on the um, on the journal card. 
you know what I feel like it needs is one second is my new little splatter stamp now again I've I've talked about it multiple times but I still am getting questions I searched splatter rubber stamp on Amazon this came up that's it has no brand, so I'm sure it's a knockoff something or another, but, um, but yeah, so that's, that's the scoop with it. Let's, I better put a piece of paper or something under it. Okay, so, Oh yeah, that's just what that needed. Just needed a a little something something. Okay, so that one's done. Yes. Okay. I really do like this stamp though. I have I mean this just wasn't, it wasn't complete. Maybe if I show you this, you know, next to it. It's just like, it gives it just a, that little extra something. I feel like it needs a little right there too. Got a couple. Yeah. Okay, so that is there. Alrighty. What else do we have here? We have this one, which is... It's really shiny. I don't know if it's showing up on camera very well, but very shiny. Gosh, it's almost one of those. I just don't even know if I want to put anything on it. You know, I think I'm just going to stick that in a pocket as it is. It's just, it's too pretty. Can you see that? Yeah, I think I'm going to leave that. I'm going to call that done now that it's inked. How's that? Let's see, what else do we have here to work with? Oh, I've got some. You know what? Let's back this on to um, something. Let's see what I have here. I've got a file folder. That'll work. Um, I'm thinking of this being a pocket on a page, like, like just sitting here and be in a pocket here, but it needs definitely some strengthening. So I am just going to cut this file folder to do that in the way. Just gonna cut it right down the seam first. This has the this on there, so maybe I'll just go like this and then that will be off of there. Because for backing anything, it's like if it's going to be a tag or something, I can't really use that part. Okay. See, so now that can be the backing of a tag, but this with the with the um, brand on it, not so much. 
Okay. I'm just going to pop that on there, I think. Yep. Yep, that'll be good. Okay. It's starting to warm up even down here. Probably need to be taken off this sweater soon. Okay. Let's just do this thing. And I'm not going to um sew around this or anything because it's got enough texture with the um modeling paste okay let's just try and get this down evenly to the edge there we go I think the book page is crooked, but that's okay. We'll just put this little bit off here. And good. Good, good, good. Okay, and then let's give it some distress around the edge. Just a little bit, just to, if I've got a little bit of the file folder showing, it won't show as much. And I don't think I'm going to outline these edges or anything. I'm just going to leave it as is. There's a little bit of, um, there was a little bit of pink kind of in it. But that's going to be a pocket. So like this and then something slid in the side. I mean, you could go top too. But on things like this, I kind of like to take advantage of the side. Okay, so that's made into something. How are we doing time-wise? Oh, we're pretty good. Got about 15-ish. All right, so this is a little different than we've done as of yet. So this is just going to be um, a tag. I like the three little... Um, kind of holes from the braille paper. But what I'm wondering, I mean, it could go that way, it could go the other way. at any ephemera that I have. Nothing's really screaming to me. I'm kind of wondering about putting a piece of washi across there and then like like this washi. Decorative tape. Excuse me. Decorative tape. And then putting a Tim Holtz person standing on it up this side. I, again, don't want to cover a whole bunch, but maybe some little skinny Tim Holtz person could go there. Let's see. What do we have? This little dude's a bit tall. I don't want anything that has to sit on something because he's got his hand funny. Too tall. Where's that one little guy? And he's kind of got his arm on something. Yeah. <laughs> I 
I'm going with it just because he makes me laugh. <laughs> Would you like to buy an encyclopedia, ma'am? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. Oh, goodness. There we go. Got it. Okay, there's that. And he needs a little something, something here and there. Okay, let's put him on there. I don't know. He makes me laugh, though. I like that. I don't know where Tim Holtz finds these people. They are hilarious, though. You better go right about there. Wonder if there's a goofy word for him. I hope he hope he sticks right because the braille paper is bumpy, of course. Okay. Um kind of like take risks because either he's selling encyclopedias or he's he's going to his girlfriend's house with his little and saying come away with me with my little suitcase and my top hat <laughs> okay uh, I'm gonna call that a tag all right so how we doing we've got a few minutes but I don't know um, maybe, maybe what I'll do is take a minute mm. and we'll just kind of organize and see what we've got. So this, I don't even know. This is just a little piece of paper that has some, has a little bit of, Hmm, I might could do something there. Okay, so that just came to mind. So we'll just do that. Um, it's it's just got ever so slight bit of uh, modeling paste. This was kind of the wipe off sheet, I think. And I'm thinking I could put it on there and make this tag look quite a bit different from the other one out of this paper. Okay, um, see, I'm thinking of just laying it down this side here. That's what I'm going to do with it. And then we will have taken up two bits of ephemera. I just have one journal card and that book page left. That's it. Just kind of like that. And then if I punch the top, let's put something on the back. fine. I just need a little off of this. if we could get this done too. My glue's kind of goopy from it being warm. 
kind of looking forward to <laughs> looking forward to winter when my glue's not goopy. Okay. Okay, so then we put something up there. I am thinking about like a um hang on. Uh, die cut flower or something. I don't know. I don't know what color. Let's see what we've got here. It's this one. Mm. Fades in a little too much, I think. Ooh, I like that. Wouldn't have thought I would, but I do. And it keeps most of the little bit of modeling paste. You can still see it. Okay. Ah. Okay. Okay, and then I think I want to take the punch and by punching the top, I think I'll blend the two pieces a little bit more so. So I want that to be, I can't really see, but I think right about there, hopefully. Yes, I just wanted it to go down into that to blend that in a little more. All right. Well, cool beans, guys. I feel like we made some major progress today with these little pieces. Okay, so let's see what we did. It's going to take me five hours to pick this up. It's a mess. <laughs> Over there, it's a mess. Okay, let's see what we did. Okay, this little quick one, but I really like that. I feel like that came together nicely. <laughs> away with me darling oh gosh big page pocket that's good this one all we did was ink it but it's so pretty that if it's behind something else in a pocket it's just gonna look cool I think we have this little guy and his sunflower and his railway south this one now you can see the paste there this little funky all ephemera in one sort of piece. And then we've got this one. So thank you so much for crafting with me today. That's a scrappy Saturday. I have a huge pile of scraps that still needs something done with, but that's okay. So thanks everybody so much for watching and for crafting with me today. I hope you have a grateful day and we'll just see you in the next video. Bye.